I marked that off. Um, and then one last thing, um, I'd like to approach Jester and ask her, Jester! <laughs> <laughs> yes? I need your help. What do you need help with? You are a talented artiste, yes, but also very, very talented you've mentioned story. in the past that you are a, an expert forger. Yes, I am. Have you seen my work? Remember? I've seen you draw dicks on things. Well, I also, I've, I've, <laughs> we've written a lot of letters. Well, you don't really show us those too much, but... They're really good. All right. I'd like you to help me forge a letter. Okay. I'd like it to sound like it's from some sort of legal entity or 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 law firm or Ooh. or or court or something Ooh, like that. I'll use like something like Esquire or something in there. That yes, sounds yes, very Yes, yes. Okay. And I'd like to Oh. Uh, could you not tell Caleb about this? Secret? It's a secret. I'm really good at keeping secrets. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'd like it to read something like. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm going to be sending it to the Solstress Academy. Solst. Oh, I know about that. That's where Ford wants to go. Yes. Are we writing this for Ford? No. Okay. It's in Rexing, Re Rexing from. Solstress. Yes, I know Soltress. where it is. Solstress. Solstress Academy. Academy. The Soul Train Academy. Soltress Academy. <laughs> That's a good way to Soltress remember it. Academy. <laughs> Um, uh, something like, greetings, hello, uh, to whom it may concern. <laughs> to whom it may concern. I am trying to reach a young lady okay. named Astrid, no last name given, who was do a... Wait, wait, do I say that, no last name given? Yes. Okay, okay. Who was a student about 11 years ago at your academy. She has inherited a bit of money from a distant relative, her uncle Leonard Hyphen. Leonard He's from Hyphen? He's from what? The, I don't. Hi, Len, Leonard hyphen Leonard. <laughs> Leonard hyphen Leonard. Got it. From the town of Nigeria. <laughs> Got it. And his estate. <laughs> his estate has employed me to find her. His estate has employed me to find her in order to deliver the funds. <gasps> Vast sums of money, right, yes, right, yes. the funds, okay. Please reach out to her, uh, um, reach out to me with her. Wait, oh shit, you, you, now I've got to write it again because you said it wrong, hold Sorry. on. <laughs> I didn't know you were okay. writing as I was well, saying. All right. I'm really please, fast. Please reach out to me with her last known contact information or address. You can write me in care of the Pillow Trove Hotel. That's the a real dash. fancy one. Okay, okay. Attention. Okay. I don't attention. know. Attention what? Mrs. Jester. No. Mrs. Mrs. Dr. Jester. Just, no. Miss, no. Mrs. Lavore Esquire. Mrs. Lavore Esquire. Okay. My legal practice thanks you in advance. Thank you. The legal practice of mm. not, 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 not and brave. Not and not, brave not, law firm. Yes. Okay, not and brave law firm. Tris Academy. Okay, wait, we need a like really fancy seal. We need wax. Do we have any wax? I bet Caleb has wax. I can't tell him about this. Okay, well, I could... do you know where any candles are? Let's sure, take a candle everywhere. from around the room, sure. and then we'll stamp it with a ring, one of my rings. Oh, perfect. OK, which one is the flattest? This one. Mm -hmm. It's got a rose on it. OK. Um, there's a difference between sealing wax <laughs> and candle wax. How do I know this? Because I've made that mistake before. <laughs> <laughs> sealing letters for previous D&D campaigns. <laughs> um, so, you manage to press your ring into the wax and pull back, and now there's just mush on the end of your <laughs> ring, and there's a circular piece of mush soft wax <laughs> where the seal should be. Thank you. You're welcome. Please don't tell Caleb, he might get upset. I just think that this is someone from his past who might be able to, you know, make him think of happier times. Astrid? Yes. <gasps> That's the name he said to me when we were dancing. Did you know? No. Yes, we were dancing, we were waltzing, it was really lovely. He was very, very, very drunk. Yes, I remember and that And then night. he said something about Astrid. He, he misses her. Was it his girlfriend? <laughs> I think so. You know, I don't know which way he swings, but he could really get any girl he wanted to if, if that's He's very his... handsome, especially when he shaves. You can see that little, the little butt chin he has. It's really nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Well, I hope it works. Me too. 
And scene. And scene, all right. Okay. I send a message to Yasha. Hello, Yasha. I'm really sorry that the last time we left, it was really hard for all of us, but we wanted to let you know that we are probably... (laughs) No destination. I send another message to Yasha. The next day? No, I've got three. Oh, okay. Four (laughs) double spots, I think. Four because of my pearl. So I'm going to send another one. Sorry I got cut off earlier. (laughs) Um, Anyway, what I was saying is that we're leaving Zudash, and we're on our way out over the hills, and we're going to go to probably... (laughs) Anyway, I get to it eventually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Best use of ascending ever. Yeah. I just want to understand what we are talking about. Like, you know, up close is different than from behind the boudoir. <laughs> I mean, I've seen, I've seen them mostly not when they knew that I could see them. If that's what you mean. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious about your, your, your. Why are you, you so interested in people's sex I lives, Caleb? Know, like, why? <laughs> like, I have the bow now. I want to know the fav- your favorite one you've ever seen. Yeah, what's your yeah. best dick? My best dick. If it's too hard to pick, you can do top three. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I saw Molly's when we were in the bathhouse. <laughs> oh. Was it? Was it? I, did we, we must have all seen it? But uh, how, how did it come Reminding compare? everyone that we have all seen each other naked. Molly's yeah. was pretty good. In terms of being just giant or I, just like well proportioned, symmetrical. Really nice, and it was a good color. <laughs> <laughs> Only because when I saw it last, there was a bit of a mess. <laughs> From peeking over the shoulder, as your as your vision focuses into the chamber beyond, uh, low lit beyond just the series of candles that are set around the single mirror, uh, you see the uh, beautiful red skin of your mother and the the dark hair tumbled past the shoulder as she's been uh, wearing a mostly laced up bodice. Um, as one of the other servant is in the process of lacing and tying it, glances over her shoulder, kind of pushes past the edge. Of the chair, it's me. It's me. You see her smile brightly. Her her uh, kind of faintly white, glowing with a hint of, of of yellowish gold tint to her eyes, uh, bright and immediately goes. Well, uh, c- come in, come in. The one who's lacing is still like pulling on the back of the bodice, and without even looking at her, uh, uh, Marion just kind of pushes her aside and goes. Shh. I ran for it and give her a big hug. Uh, as you kind of give her a hug, she kind of. Holds you there and goes, um, I. You look different. It's a spell. I'm actually still me. Don't worry. There's a nod, and their, their kind of tension in her body melts as her arms kind of enclose on your shoulders and back and pulls you in close in this, this moment of, of warmth and, and relief that washes over both of you. At being reunited here in this chamber, the uh, the two servants kind of sit in the back awkwardly, not quite understanding entirely either, and kind of whispering to each other, uh, while Marion just continues to hold you and rock you back and forth, and just goes, "My beautiful Chester, I've missed you so much. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. I wanted to come home sooner, but we got distracted because we went to the Empire. But I, I, I remember you telling me you were going to go. Back. Oh, that's right. I sent you messages. Yes. Yeah." How, uh, how how was it? I have not traveled beyond the boundaries. Um, it's really like kind of cold, and you know the people are pretty strict. But there are some really really nice people that you can meet. I met a lot of friends. You should meet them. I'd be happy to. And she, They're she, downstairs. She kind of traces her fingers along her face. Goes like. Yep. Can I, I put her hand on my horn so she can tell? She it's feels so it. And she's like. Can I see my little girl? Is it okay with them? They're fine. (laughs) (laughs) He dropped the illusion, and even though she knew it wasn't until actually she gets an opportunity to look upon your face and your hair and your eyes and your smile that you watch just life breathe in like a renewed fire into the chest of your mother. Immediately she grabs the sides of your cheeks and pulls you in and goes, I 
missed you so much. Just brings you in and kisses you on the forehead and starts running her fingers through your hair. And there's oh, just... careful of the weasel. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Sprinkle Mama. He is very adorable. <laughs> I'm going to say I left Nugget downstairs with you guys. Okay, okay, okay. After you beat on it. Yeah. <laughs> she immediately like like starts like kind of brushing your hair with her fingers and the side. It's like, I, you've gone so far and traveled so much. You have to tell me about what you've done. I will, of course. Do you want me to finish lacing you up your performances tonight? That, that, yes, it is. Um, please uh, do not mind. She she knows what to do. And so now in front of the mirror with you behind her, she's looking at you through the mirror over her shoulder as you're helping lace at the back of her bodice. And We went to a town and it was burned down and we killed a bunch of gnolls and we took off their ears. And then we went to another city and we fought these fish people in this swamp and it was really crazy. And then, my oh my goodness. gosh, you should meet this monk girl that I know. She's crazy and she fights with her fists and also with a staff and she's really strong. And there's this other girl who has wings. And they tell her all about everything. All right, and she she's just enthralled, like just listening to all this. And I, <laughs> I would never have thought my little jester would be seeing the world and and fighting creatures and fighting so much. You should see how strong I've gotten. I want to see how strong you've gotten. Well, I mean, okay. Do you want me to punch you? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Wait. Till after the performance, okay. I've just applied my. Uh, anyway, please. Oh, what? Uh, I would like to know the names if you would like to introduce. This is Ford. I met him earliest. He's a half orc and he's growing his teeth back and he's very, very handsome. I can see that. It's a pleasure. I can see where Jester gets her good looks from. Well, uh, I can see where she speaks honestly in front of her mother as well, and she puts her hand out. Oh, I'll give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of pulls away, but like take, rests just a moment on your fingertips before pulling away and kind of smiles. I can uh, see you are a very strong willed and protective man. Do you watch over Jester in my stead? I do. I try to. Good. I feel better knowing that she's safe in your care. Anyway. This is both. She's really strong. She's the one I was telling you about that can fight things with right, a stick. Right, you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bo, it is a pleasure. So. She kind of reaches and shakes your I hand. I also. Four. Yeah. Do the fingertip thing back. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is mine as well. Ah, uh, Caleb. This is Caleb. He's a wizard. He has a lot of fire and stuff. He he likes his books, and um, he used to smell bad, but he doesn't anymore. He likes water now. I, I, <laughs> you have a, a beautiful singing voice. Thank you very much for the performance. You have a very thank charming you. daughter. Thank you, and thank you. <laughs> you um, I can sense a bit rough in the social graces, so I am very honored that you would come to see my performance. Is that a, a Zemnian accent? I am afraid so, yeah. It is. It shows that you've traveled some some distance to be here. Yeah. I appreciate that. Fish out of water, yeah. <laughs> well, you found plenty of it here, so perhaps the fish has found a home. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> this is not. She's very, very, very brave, even though she's very small. Be careful of your rings. I wouldn't steal from your mother, and if I did, we would solve the crime. That's right, because we are detectives, and we're really good at solving cases. She's kind of my partner in crime. Well, uh, very. I was not aware this was the um, the dress of a detective. Oh, am I still in my? Yes, you are. Uh, I will. Uh, oh, I'll, well. I'll, I'll, I will drop my form. This is what you really. She takes a step back. Ah. <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't don't apologize. I, uh, <laughs> oh, is it the teeth? Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> this is not. This is not. This is not. This is seagull blood. This is <laughs> not human blood. The world is made of all kinds. If you need an extra seagull or two, I have seven to spare, and I would happily leave you one or two of those. 
They are the rats of the city. I have had plenty, but I sure. thank you. <laughs> Well, I think you are very adorable. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nut. You are adorable. Well, she's very nice. It's <laughs> lovely to meet you. I'll curtsy. <laughs> she grabs the edges of her robe and kind of counter curtsies halfway, and while she's sitting in her chair. And oh, this yes. one. Is... Caduceus, Caduceus. <laughs> yeah, he'll pop back up. He's got We're pink hair. That. He used to live in a cemetery. He doesn't know a lot of things. He doesn't know anything about sex, and he drinks dead people. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh no. Less oh, of a, a cemetery, more of a graveyard. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Well, you've not been outside of this graveyard that my daughter speaks of? Uh, only uh, recently, yeah. A man fresh to the world of uh, vice, I presume? Ah, uh, aware of it, but uh, just trying to only dip a couple toes in. Oh, my. Uh, Daughter will break you of any habits of ignorance very quickly. I don't know what that means. Good. <laughs> I would like to know what that means. You carry very interesting companions. I know. They've saved my life, you know, and I've saved theirs, because I'm a really good cleric. Mm -hmm. Did I, you know that I do that now? I did not. I can heal people, Mom. That is incredible. She can heal people. <laughs> she's, she's been, she is able to. She's been Thank you. You're quite the gentleman. He's actually not the gentleman. We met a guy who goes by the name no, Gentleman. Uh, you uh, 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 oh, gentleman. she's like, yeah. oh, okay, got you. I don't know who knows who. He's blue as well, and he's always sweaty. Yeah. Dark hair. He's wet. Yeah. He's a wet, He's wet always walker. Really wet. A wet walker. Yes, I, I, I know of him. Oh, you know of the gentleman? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because we're not cool with him so, so much. Well, I know of a man of you describe of bluish skin and quite sweaty. Yes, he has come through before. Was he nice or was he not nice? He was very nice. Very dashing. Yeah. I told you about him before. What? What? Wait a minute. But not the gentleman, though. I don't don't know the name, the gentleman, but yeah. He has dark hair. He has got like black hair. That's really long. And blue skin. <clears throat> Oh my God, your mother knows the gentleman. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, it goes a little no. deeper than that, Ducey. No. <laughs> is that? Oh. Is that what's happening? Oh. That's why you always have a little sweat right there. We <laughs> all. <laughs> we had a bit of a a romance years ago. How many years ago, by the way? I've told you about Babanon. 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 I didn't ask if that was his name, though. Babanon. Your dad's name is Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what if the gentleman is my dad? Wait, what? Are we saying if or are we saying is? Well, we don't know for sure. I mean, your mother might know. Do you for have sure. a, a picture of him? No. Do you no. have a drawing of him? I don't you draw the gentleman. Draw a you probably got drawings of him. Made a book. <laughs> this is the perfect time for a game of Pictionary. I'm so excited. I will ask both of you. Both of you don't look. Oh, yeah. You draw one, and she draws one. Oh, and she oh, draw. yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. draw! Please get style. Okay. <laughs> joke about the gentleman. What's yeah, this? The cartoon character Daria. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some huge sweat drops. <laughs> Daria. <laughs> Daria, Daria, Daria with a beard. <laughs> Jester's a really good drawer, even though I'm not. <laughs> I keep hoping. No. <laughs> yep, yep, there's no getting around it. <sighs> mm. Have you seen Bullshit. this boy? And she's not a good artist either. She's like. <laughs> what he looks the same! That is him! Let me 
me see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Does wow. it look like the same person when we look at the two drawings? Uh, you can you can make a connection. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm going to send him a message, okay? And then we can see if it's him. If it's him. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send the message oh, to the gentleman. Oh, 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 okay, what do you say? say? Oh God! Oh no! Oh, fuck. Oh my God! Oh my God! Is your name Babinando Sol? Do you have you ever been to oh, the fuck. Menagerie Coast? Oh my God! Do you know the Ruby of the Sea? Oh my God! He's gonna think he's being wiretapped. Okay. <laughs> so the cell the, the spell sends. No response. <laughs> Maybe you should say this is Jester. No, he's gotten my messages before. He knows it's me. Okay, this is this is. I'm going to think about what I'm going to say on this one. I'm using my Pearl of Power. It's my last third level spell. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. This is Jester. Please respond. Just yes. If you. Seen the ruby. Please. Was that 20? Oh. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Of course it does. Of course it does. There is there is a palpable pause of nothing, and then he responds. No, that's preposterous. That's preposterous, he says. I've never seen a. I mean, I've seen one, but I've never spoken to a. With the Turtle person? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool of him. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually saw one either. I've only seen pictures. Is that an eye patch? Are those tattoos? <laughs> Is that a shell? Yeah. Mm. Should Just we talk to him first? Yeah. Who wants to who wants to talk to um No, Dirty. not No. What are those it looks crazy that what thing? are those things coming out of the show? I don't know. Are you a turtle? And do you walk up and approach him? I'm a shithead. No. All right. <laughs> We're all gonna fight. Sitting there on the table, kind of both these these large uh, scaled, coming to the point of these these uh, kind of hooked claws. These hands are wrapped around this heavy tankard. The head kind of shifts over in your direction, where the eye patch kind of meets your gaze first. For the other guy, the other eye creeps past the uh, extending uh, hard brow. I'm sorry, uh, what you asking, huh? I was asking how you got your eye patch. Did you, did somebody shoot it out of your eye? Well, that's certainly a possibility, Shara. You don't remember? You don't think that perhaps someone's gonna Tell you, tell you the life story, just without even knowing you. Huh? Um, you gonna buy me a drink first, huh? Oh yeah, I will buy you a drink if you tell me how your eyeball went missing. Very well. I go, Ask him what he wants. What you? Oh, do you not want milk? Do you want something else? He raises a, one of his fingers up towards the bar, and the bartender glances up. Oh, another round. Oh, okay. <clears throat> he turns around and begins preparing what looks to be a uh, another drink. Reduces, uh, lowers his hand and claw, which kind of scrapes across the wood and leaves this little kind of curl of uh, a little shaving that is put to the side as his hand comes to rest. Looking back at you with his one eye. How about this then? Let's trade a story, huh? Okay. You tell. Tell me where you're from and why I brought you into my table. Then maybe I'll tell you how I lost this, huh? Okay. 
Um, well, I'm from um, up the street, kind of. I'm the daughter of the Ruby of the Sea. Do you work for any government officials? <laughs> no. I'm the daughter of the Ruby of the Sea. <laughs> Um, and, you know, these are my friends, and we've gotten into a lot of hijinks, and, um, um, what else did you want to know? Drink it spread under the table. Don't worry, she's gonna take care of it. Yes. Do you have, um, money to take care of? Uh, I'm <laughs> sure, gonna, sure, you can. You've got Stepping into the light, you see, uh, the familiar and somewhat surprised face of Yasha. <gasps> Ashley, if you wanna jump away, don't mind. You heavy metal music. Where did those flash pods come from? Flash pods. Oh hi! Completion! Yeah! The full set! Revoke your travel status, never leave again. Okay, cool. Hi! As you guys spin around to see, you know the the broad shoulders and uh, intimidating presence of Yasha step into the dark bar interior. Yasha, you step inside, looking for a moment of respite and a drink, and are kind of caught off guard by the group that is now staring back at you with the same aghast expression. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Hey. Hey. I'll just run over and give her a big hug on her knees. Oh. Uh. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, passing through here. Did you know we were here? Did you get our message? Did you get my messages? No, you sent messages? I sent you lots of messages, Yasha. What did they say? They said, well, they said I that we were... They mostly said that I missed you and that we were going to Nicodranus and we were heading over to find out more stuff about um, I don't remember what we're even you doing told us here in Nicodranus anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we were just for here for Ford and also for we're you. We're here for Ford and we're finding out stuff about him and also we saw my mom. Also, we've never seen oh. the ocean. Yeah, I, I've never seen the ocean either, but. But did you see it now? Because we're here in the city, it's right over there. Well, I, I, I just got here a bit ago. I've been. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've just been on a journey and I have somewhere to go. At least I think that I need to go. Immediately, you need to get on a boat. Not immediately. Today, tomorrow, or? We can have a drink or two. Could we get a couple bottles of wine over here, please? The bartender goes and gathers in a couple <laughs> bottles of wine that'll run you fair or fine wine? Uh, fine wine. Fine wine, that'd be bad. For two bottles, 20 gold. Oh. Oh. You know I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the price on that. He's like, just get in the cork. Yeah. Give me the uh, two buck chuck, please. <laughs> All right, yeah. And PBR? That'll, yeah. For, a, for a, a, a passing, somewhat somewhat briny wine, um, run you about two gold for two bottles. <laughs> it's a big job. I'll buy. For the, for the, ba it's been a while. For the basic uh, bitch wine, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm not gonna pay for a nice glass of wine for your ass. You, uh, this is Yasha. You can't afford. It's fine. I don't. Uh, well, I can't I tell the Caleb, difference. I'd buy a glass of wine for you. Well, thank you, Bo. Yeah. I mean, we have to go punk some guy's ass who's been harassing her. If you want to join us on maybe kicking this guy's ass, and then we can report back to her. I mean. What's in the sack? Just some stuff. Someone's like head. What? Is it a body? It's a body, isn't it? Is it presents for us? <laughs> Have you been gathering presents for when you saw us again? Ooh, are you like oh. super goth Santa or something? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <What's that>, uh? <laughs> we have uh, so many questions. Who is this? Who is this guy that's been messing with your mom? He's this really creepy guy who he was like trying to get with her, and she's like, I don't know. And he's like, you're only going to be mine. And she's like, I don't like that. And now he's like threatening everybody else that wants to see her. Yeah, you know, your standard angry creeper. That sounds like 
someone whose ass I would like to kick. Yeah! His name's uh, Al- Algar. Okay. Algar Diamond. <laughs> Have you heard of him? You have no idea who that is. I have no idea who that is. But he has a douchebag sounding name, right? Yeah, it sounds. I don't even. I don't even remember it. Yeah. <laughs> what <did you> say? <laughs> I'm s- still. Str- yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Seriously though, are you? Are you okay? After everything, we didn't really leave on uh, the most positive of terms. Uh. I. I'll be okay. Uh, I just had to work through some things. Um, but speaking of, it looks like you have a new member already in the group. Well, we're not replacing Molly. Or are you? We didn't really talk much last time. You were kind of in your own space. We didn't really get to explain. You were the last to wake up of the three of us, and. By the time you came around, we had met Mr. Clay. He apparently worked in a graveyard, cemetery? Yeah, I get it right. Crucial uh, in, in us getting the three of you out. Thank you. I'm sure we could have made it if we had more time. Well. But thank you for helping. Well, here you are. Yes, here I am. And I think perhaps it's destiny. Do you believe in destiny? No, but... But you dream about islands and you go to them. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> he does this a lot, Yasha. I don't know if I like you. Uh, oh, I know no. I like Just you. Just go with it. <laughs> Open up and, and he'll read into your inner thoughts. You should That's try some of his dead tea. It's pretty good. Your dead tea? Mm-hmm. What is a dead, what is a dead tea? He makes tea out of dead people. I mean... I don't know, I like it sounds. What is it, does it taste good? It tends I'm to not taste good. I'm not to such things. <laughs> I like, a, I have a fine palate. Well, let me see you eat a meal, and then, then I'll figure out what tea to give you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a plan. Well, let's suppose that the Storm Lord puts you on this path and you're with us now because of some divine intervention. I think it's important to follow one's feelings on such things. I commend you. Well, thank you. Yeah. What was your name again? Ah, Caduceus. Caduceus Clay. It's a pleasure. Caduceus Clay. That's a very interesting name. Thank you. They've been, your friends have spoken very highly of you in your absence. Oh, that's very nice. We have missed you. We don't mean to pry, so. No, I've missed you guys too, but sometimes it's just best to go my own way sometimes. I mean, by all reality, we barely know each other. It's true. Hey, Bo. Yeah. You know those people skills you've been working on? Yeah. You want to go ask the Celezo if they uh, mind telling some tourists about the fabled entrance to the Flux mm-hmm. Weave? Okay, okay, okay. Now, now. <sighs> all right. Okay. So, my story, just so you know, I can really commit to this. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. I'm a tourist. Yep. I'm still Bo, right? I'm Beauregard the tourist. You gonna use your real name? Should I, should I not use my real name? Try something else. I'm Julia from... You don't look like a Julia. I am Leslie. Sure. Tracy? Better. Tracy. Totally Tracy. Okay, I look yep. like a Tracy? Okay. Yep. So I'm Tracy <laughs> from Zadash. Okay. And, you know, my parents are paying for just a little bit of a spring break so I can, like, go find myself before I go into college. Right? Before I go to uni? You know this no, person, this a don't thing? You? you? This is somebody. I'm just trying that. to I'm trying to figure it out because if I'm if I'm just me, I'm just gonna be an asshole, so I have to be somebody else. That is very observant, yeah. <sighs> so, uh and I heard about this mysterious loose entrance. It's loose thing and like Do that. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do this, yeah. yeah. But you don't so have to take on my the hair. Side of your head, so. <laughs> well here, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> So I'll just use this side. Yeah. Right? Be like Give it the old, yeah. Is that good, does Pierce. that work? Yep. Yeah? Do I find like the most insecure looking guy and then like use that? I or? like it, go with All it. All right, okay. Oh, gosh, in the water just so beautiful. Man, it's. I'm sorry, can I help you? It's hot out here. It's just so, so yeah. moist. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. He was oh. right? Oh. And I kind of... <sighs> What's your name? I'm sorry, um, I am working at the moment. Uh, oh, great, because I could totally use some help. <laughs> and you see his eyes roll from him and he goes, what can I do to help you then? Well, you see, I'm from out of town. What's, I'm Tracy, by the way. What's your name? He sighs heavily and reaches out and finally takes the hand and goes, hello, I am Zelezo Mepa. Mepal. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Um, it's just, you know, I'm here and I'm trying to get the true Nicodronus experience while I'm in town. And, mm. you know, I, I just, I've heard rumors from people, you know, about this thing called the Sluice Weave. And, you know, it just, I would just love to see it, see if it's real, you know? Guys, wow. Um, I awesome. hear they're haunted. Are they haunted? Well, uh, not haunted per se, but so. Oh, you gave me a little smirk. They're totally haunted. They're <laughs> 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 not, not haunted, but there there are elements give them, like, to it. Like, <laughs> it's like. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, he goes, uh, there, there are also, um, there are things um, that that uh, help maintain the sluice um, uh, ducts and occasionally help protect elements of the bay if ever it's under attack. I bet you're first in line to protect the city against an attack, aren't you? Well, I, I mean, there's, there's been, um, you know, about a year ago, they had this one ship that came into the ship, and there was these, these, yeah. these thieves and knights that were, and I happened to be on, oh on job at, at the moment, and so wow. I thought, yeah. So I was, interesting. So have you been down there? Oh, yeah. It's like, cool. um, so what, uh, so what, what are you up to while you're in the city, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, you know, I'm just, um, I'm so busy, you know, just trying to, Fill my schedule with things. I should probably go now. Of course, where so? are you staying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm staying at the uh, the Chartreuse, the Lava Chateau. Oh wow, that, that is a very expensive place. I know you probably couldn't afford it, so. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, you, you, you you can see the visible like. <laughs> to his chest. <laughs> He's like, well, um, perhaps I'll, I'll uh, if you want other things to see around the city, when I'm not on my post, I can maybe uh, come by and give you a little tour. Sure, that sounds great. Of course, what are you doing right now? Um, I only have about uh, 40 minutes until I get to switch my shift and, and I'm off for the rest of the afternoon, so. <laughs> This, this, is, this is everything I want. This is so painful. You know, I'm actually doing a quick little boat tour just right over there, but I'll be right back. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a bit kind of flabbergasted. Just over there. I'll be right back. Just. <laughs> See you later. Oh, what was it? Uh, what was the name? Tracy? Tracy. You what was your name? And he kind of sits there for a second and just kind of just Oh, wait, chases. you guys, Marl, 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 <laughs> and then continues the rest of his his post along the uh, the dockside. I need a shower. I need a shower. Where did that come from? I don't know. I think it was something deep down inside of me that I actually really hate. That I is there. It's like maybe always been there. And then I had just said again. I had to. Let's go. I don't want to talk about that anymore. That's okay. Yep. Inside of you. Who the fuck is Trace? <laughs> let's let let's go. It's been so quiet, and I like how do you sometimes hear things? I always I always hear things. What if I made a mistake? They wander over. Well, you know, a lot of times I think that maybe they 
traveler has left me and I think maybe things are going poorly and he doesn't like me anymore but sometimes you know he'll just show up after a while and tell me that I was on the right path all along and he just made it fun for me to find it again and one day will be the last time what then well, you're not afraid of death are you no although dying was uh I mean I've I've been hurt before and I've I've uh, almost drowning was a lot <laughs> uh, that was a lot and uh, there were the ocean is a lot and this is a lot breathe <sighs> The world is a lot bigger than your cemetery. There are a lot of things for you to see. And if you have to break out of your comfort zone in order to find the path that you're looking for. I think I needed to hear that. Oh, breathing's hard. Just keep doing that. <laughs> oh, it smells really weird in here. This is a. You can't smell dead people oh. when you're on the ocean. It's very salty. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes. I'm really hungry. Do you want to make some food? We have a lot downstairs. Oh, I Two think... weeks worth. Oh, I like cooking. I think I need to cook. Let's go. Let's go cook. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, really, I feel better that was actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go cook. <laughs> okay. I'll call up to Bo as she's walking off. Yeah. How's it, uh, <clears throat> how's it looking down there? Spirits, hi. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, no, I just, I thought I'd ask. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Conflicted, I guess. Yeah, I don't feel very good. No, I don't, I don't know. Like, look, I, I, I know we, uh, we acted accordingly in his self-defense, but I don't know, probably could have been a little bit smarter about that entire situation. Well, it's just been a day, right? It's been a fucking day. We were gonna talk to Algar. We ended up killing his bodyguards and setting that thing free. And then we were gonna go and talk to Marius, and then we ended up killing the whole fucking crew and Captain Minus One. Why didn't we just go talk? Like, I feel like we've abandoned the use of... So here's my thing, right? Yeah. I, these... Magic's new to me. This sword is new to me. I didn't have most of this all of my life. All I had was my words to get out of situations, to try and heal conflict, to, to try and outsmart somebody. And now all of a sudden I have this power and I feel like it's a shortcut and I've been cheating myself. Like I don't feel like I've put forth the same effort to resolve something because I can just will something into happening. That doesn't seem right to me. In a, in a fucked up way, I can actually relate to that quite a lot. But um, for me, that's, I've always had my fists. And man, is it way easier to solve problems when you're beating the shit out of somebody. Mm. But, how, I mean. How does Caleb feel about all this? Like we were justified in our actions. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know, it just doesn't sit right. How's, uh, yeah. how's Caduceus? Jester had a good talk with him, I think he'll actually be okay. Yeah, we might need to do a little bit more maintenance. Hmm. I feel bad, you know, I've uh, treated people like shit my whole life, and... I don't know. Having one transformative moment doesn't mean that you're immediately gonna be a different person overnight, and, uh... Being better is something you have to work at, I guess. That was actually very profound. <laughs> 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 I, uh... I can understand 
taking the easy way out with the power that you have. It's what I've done my whole life. Let's try. I just and... don't know anything else, though. I get that. Maybe we try not to do that. Okay. All right. I check you, you check, check me. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We check the group. Everybody else. Otherwise, I feel like Caduceus is not going to be the last person that thinks about Walks away from us. Yeah. I, um... I've driven most people in my life away from me. <clears throat> Hearing him talk like that, it's not the first time I've heard those things, and, uh... I don't want to drive you guys away. Yeah, I don't so. want us to drive each other away. Yeah. Anyway. Underneath, which is Let's what you do it. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So we'll instruct Not Orly. only will we do it, we will do it in solidarity with you and your quest, because we are a team, a cohesive unit that acts as one. When one member wants something, we all want something, right, guys? Sure. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We are the mighty nine, not to be trifled with. Yes. Welcome yeah. to the mighty put nine, Caduceus. Put, put what in? Put it in! I will put the map? It. No! No, no, he mean, uh, she means your hands. <laughs> your hands. Both hands, hands and Yasha. Yasha puts one hand work. in as well. Yeah. Yeah. My hands. On three, right. ocean. Oh. One, two, three, ocean! Ocean! ocean. ocean. Three, ocean. <laughs> is, that a, is that a goblin <laughs> thing? No, it's a... No, we it's a mighty nine. It's a mighty nine thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You've done that before. This is a thing. This is. <laughs> it's a new thing. Okay. So we'll instruct. Okay. Uh, through your path uh, during the evening, you keep an eye on the waves. Uh, at some point, the moon itself is starting to find itself low in the sky, and you look over and you see this like faint glow in the water below. You kind of feel the the back of your neck get warm for a second. You glance over to try and inspect what the source of this light is, and um, it's a jellyfish bloom. You see hundreds and hundreds of these tiny jellyfish below the surface that are giving this faint kind of bioluminescent blues and pinks and a variety of colors in that kind of pastel spectrum as they just kind of pass under the waves as you move by, and then you look out beyond that and you can see a few more. And for the next hour or so, you just kind of look over the water and pass by these beautiful little beacons of color in the middle of this dark black ocean. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. Last thing you want to do is jump in there, though. That is a bad time. Really? Yeah, jellyfish sting, and it's quite painful. Sometimes things that are the most beautiful are the things that can hurt you the worst. Are you worried about where we're going? No. No, I'm, I'm more anxious to get there. My curiosity, I suppose, overrides my fear. Good. You're not afraid that this captain is going to hurt you? No. I don't think I had gotten that far. Plus, I have the sphere. Captain Vontigan doesn't. That's true. I feel like we take care of ourselves pretty well. Yeah. I promise I'll heal you if you start to hurt, okay? Thank you. Do you ever get sad? Sad? Yeah, that sometimes things don't work out the way you were hoping. <sighs> well, yeah. Yeah, I suppose I get sad. Are you sad, Jester? Only sometimes. But it passes really quickly. I'm sometimes sad about the things that I've had before that I won't have anymore. 
and I sometimes wish that things were different. What makes you sad? I miss my mom already. <laughs> I thought we could see her longer. I am sorry that we left in the way that we did. Would your mom ever think of leaving Nicodranas? Mm, I don't know. She thought about it one time with my dad. She was planning to leave with him. But then he never came back. Right. What would you want for her? To stay there and grow old, or...? Mm, I would like for her to be happy. I would like for him to love her. I don't know. I would like for her to not have to work anymore. It's very noble of you. Yeah. I'm pretty noble. Well, how about on some of these islands, I've heard that there is treasure. Oh, really? Hard to find. I'm not making any promises. But if we play our cards right, and we take care of each other, we might return a bit wealthier than we left. This is a pretty good plan. And then we can use that money to bribe the gentleman to go back and woo my mama again. Or give it to your mom and have her go find the gentleman, but she's just phew, amazing. That could work too. Yeah. Don't be sad. Your mom is very proud of you, that much was clear. Yeah. Thanks for that. Don't mention it. I... Captain, it would appear to me that you have brought the mist uh, all this way across our uh, specific route to the reef uh, with a crew that I have not met. Please introduce me. Oh, yes. Uh, we actually came under such heavy heat, we had to rebrand the ship as the mistake. <laughs> this surprises me not at all. Yeah. <laughs> yep, uh, and we uh, came across some new crew. May I introduce... Tracy. <laughs> Tracy the Bowman. Tracy Bowman. Next to Tracy, you will see... Oh, uh, Philip. <laughs> My name is Philip Bonjour. <laughs> Philip is a talented bosun. Uh, may I also introduce the tall and powerful... Uh, hello, my name is Janet. <laughs> Janet? Janet. Oh, Janet. I do various uh, uh, things on the, on, the, on the ship for him and, you know, so many things. Just all of, all of, all of the things that need to be done. She, she, like, nods along with a very confused look on her face. Arg. We're all gonna die. Cornelius, and I, uh, I apologize for the way I'm dressed right now. I was in the middle of, uh, well, it's obvious I was uh, making a stew, this really nice vegetable stew, and everything just went... Just topsy-turvy, so quick, I don't even... Uh... It's so good. <laughs> Very good stew. Very it's true. talented. Yeah. He's a talented cook, uh, that one. What, what was your name again? Cornelius. Cornelius, yeah, the food just blows your mind. Sometimes they call me stew, because I just... Cornelius. <laughs> Very well, I look forward to seeing what you're capable of cooking up, Cornelius. I'm oh, very excited. 
Uh, this one. I'm a pirate. <laughs> Hashtag, I'm a pirate. <laughs> um, pirate sapphire. Sapphire. It is adorable. <laughs> Arr, thanks. And what about this little runt you brought on? I'm Gilligan. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was told this was only going to be about three hours long. <laughs> oh. um, to, be, to be honest with you, I just thought we were going on a pleasure cruise. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, I've met some people and we've had a great time. And, uh, yeah, uh, really nice boat you got here. <laughs> she turns back to, uh, to you. <laughs> And begins to just kind of walk a circle around you, arms yeah. behind her back now. I can see it. Kind of folded. Out with it. Evantika. Okay. How can you be certain that you're the only chosen one of Ukutoa? Bless you. Ukutoa. 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 Let's all do that together. <laughs> Slow. Okay. Well, I'm not certain, but I'm the one who has the dreams. The dreams. <gasps> Okay, she said dreams. She said dreams. She has dreams. You have dreams. You have wet dreams too. You do. You do. You have dreams. I have dreams. You have dreams. This big smile curls across her face, and you watch her go a little flush. She goes, What kind of dreams? Do you often wake up vomiting salt water? Do you have wet dreams? It's. You, you, you don't you, have to be embarrassed. She looks, <laughs> she looks a little confused, but, but says, No, unlike some, I can hold my brine. Oh. Oh. You're not looking at me, right? I'm a... <laughs> you, you have dreams. I, I've had dreams of being uh, deep underwater. There's a, a giant eye that, that sees me. I hear a voice speaking to me, but I, I can't reply. Does that ring any bells? Her smile just grows wider. So, Okotoa has spoken to you as well. Oh, you're supposed to be the I, I noticed as we were leaving your quarters that beautiful iron piece above your doorway, the snake circling back upon itself, the eye in the middle, but Seem there were small eyes all around the body of the snake. They say that Kotoa is an infinite length entity, a, a serpent that entwines the entirety of the water. That is but eyes across its body to see what else it must function. Sounds beautiful. Exactly the word I was searching for. <laughs> Speaking of beautiful. Oh! <laughs> I was so taken by that marking, that tattoo you had. I was wondering if you might show it to me again. I think Make a they're persuasion about to check. get naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with what's happening. Natural 20. <laughs> kind of tugs down the scarf to reveal the tattoo without breaking eye contact and goes, I'll do you one better. Oh! 
zip? Removes the glove off of her right hand. <gasps> and in the palm, you see a familiar yellow eye emerging from the sun. <gasps> <laughs> okay, okay. This is the blessing, at least the first stage. I have been chosen to be one step to his unsealing. Okay. I feel now you and I are more connected than I could have ever imagined, and I will summon, I'll summon the sword. With a flash and a scattering of ocean water across the far wall of the chamber, the falchion emerges <laughs> in your grasp. <laughs> it's what it's always done. She immediately takes a step forward, like holding her palm forward still, and not even looking at you, just looking at the sword and specifically focusing on the eye in the center of the hilt. And she's speechless for a moment. You hear her breathe in <gasps> suddenly. Then perhaps it was destiny. Perhaps it was. Do you know what will happen if we Sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what does what does the eye say to you? I anything you remember? <sighs> Tell me to to watch. To learn. Uh -oh. mm. To consume? <laughs> to consume. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Matt and Travis are gonna make out! <laughs> She steps around the desk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and just places her fingers on the hilt of the sword where the eye is. <laughs> then you'll need your rest. <gasps> Indeed. Milady. We will all. <laughs> <laughs> I will put my hand on hers and say, we will all need our rest for the trials to come. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I, I don't feel quite as alone in this. Thank you for your honesty, eventually. <laughs> like an onion, you gotta peel it, you know. Understood, understood. Anyway, and she pulls her hand away. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and may sweet dreams find you. <laughs> I, I turn and I head towards the door and as I get there, I, I look back. <laughs> And I walk away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. I thought they were going to make Bumsen, but it did not happen. <laughs> Um, along the way, the insects are getting really obnoxious. Um, the, the buzzing itself becoming this kind of low, droning, uh, ever-present hum, but the bites are getting extremely obnoxious. Trimetti, one, you know, acknowledging once he starts singing it more and more, and goes, uh, I did not find any problem before. Uh, perhaps they seem to enjoy your flavors more than mine. Um, Very tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, are, like, are the insects really not bothering him at all, or? Uh, they're not bothering him, really. 
it seems. Just out of idle curiosity. Mm -hmm. Is he a human? He's human. Um, I'm going to just Ball, very quickly skin. cast Eyes of the Grave. Eyes of the Grave. So anything undead within 60 feet uh, is going to glow in my, I'm going to get a little glow off anything that registers as undead. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Um, Beauregard starts glowing. You <laughs> twist. <laughs> uh, you, you get a very, very faint what? undead aura emanating from uh, Gemetti. <laughs> really? <gasps> Out of the fucking blue. He's cool. good. Uh, Jometti stays up to also take watch with you. Mm, nice. Kind of sits across the opposite way, and you're watching this way over his shoulder, and he's looking over yours, and doesn't engage in conversation unless you wish to. Have you ever seen those cat things before? I've seen them my first time passing through here, yes, but um, I was quieter. Yeah, we're pretty loud sometimes. You are correct. This has been a bit more challenging than I originally anticipated. Have you thought at all about the Traveler? <laughs> no. Do you want the pamphlet? I am confused as to what you are speaking of. Oh. Strange. He's everywhere. And creepy. He's really great. I'll give you a pamphlet. I get it out and I walk it over to him. Here. <laughs> it takes a solid 10 seconds of him just inspecting it and looking up at you and inspecting it before you can. Just read it over. <laughs> There's a lot of information in there. It's really important. M much appreciated. He's here right now. Tucks it away into the inside of his vest. Traveler! If you're here, you should show him you're here so that he will like you even more than he already does. <sighs> Just give it a minute. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're not quite sure who it was on that side that let one loose in their sleep, but the inside of the dome suddenly has a very fragrant oh, air. Oh, Dutch oven. <laughs> to be fair, we all, we all had Indian for dinner tonight. It could be any one of us. He has cast so his blessing upon us. The, the most impressive of miracles. <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest thing you have seen? Ever in my life? Sure. <laughs> oh shit, I've seen some crazy shit. <laughs> this one time. I saw a bug carrying a piece of bread that was like five times its size. <laughs> and he was carrying it up stairs, like like up, and then he would turn, and then it would go up, and then it would turn. Will Wanda save us? I'm gonna let the Not. trees know that we're here. Yeah. No. About a minute's passed since you've eaten that fruit. And you start feeling a little tingly on the inside of oh, your body. Yummy. <laughs> tingly how? Does it burn when you pee? You turn to look at Caleb and like it's crazy. His hair's like purple. Now it's pink, now it's orange. Now it's purple. Oh, oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> oh no. What is happening? What your happened? eyes are it's like big black His pupils saucers. are purely dilated. Your eyes are, are like, they're normally like, you know, <laughs> tea saucers, but now they're like full plates. Are you all right? <laughs> As you're glancing around, what little bit of the, the light orbs that are kind of slowly drifting, they're like leaving trails behind. Um, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Man, this is the craziest Place we've ever been. I can't believe you just ate it's really some nice. shit all over yeah. there. Ooh. Are you okay? <laughs> Do that more. It feels nice. The wind. <laughs> Do that more. <laughs> Slower. How much have you oh, had from yeah. that bottle of yours? No, just let me enjoy. This. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, I just had one of these fruits. 
and I think I know everything now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You know, it doesn't matter if Jimetti's alive or dead. Wait, what? We're all going to be dead at some point. I think what? he's clearly messed up. Did you have a fresh fruit? At this point, fruit, Jimetti and Avantika have managed to join you below in the chamber. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Jimmy's like, doing this really well. He pulls out a torch and lights it up to kind of, it's very bright. Everyone like turns slowly to nod. Who's got one awesome shot? We do. We, we do? We do. What's your awesome shot? It's a little something we like to call Fluffernetter. <laughs> I want to say yes. I just don't know if now's the time to be demoing a yeah. new thing. Can you pitch it to yeah, us in 30 get, seconds or quick, less? A quick pitch would be really good. Yeah. Do you have a one sheet? <laughs> or should, you know what? Fluffernutter sounds great. No, no, no. I'm so high right now, but I know that that is not a good idea. What is it? <laughs> she, she pulled, she, what are you holding? What is that? I'm pulling out the little keg of black powder that Nott stole from the pirate ship. And I've got my explosive arrow knocked. Okay. Just Starting to get a picture, <laughs> yeah. A couple quick thoughts. Uh -huh. When we tried to blow up the tree, didn't work so well. Two, load-bearing beams in a closed room with no windows, so it's gonna hurt us, too. Love or not. Okay, the name is great. I'm just thinking maybe in practical use, not the best idea here. Think about this. I am the only one doing that. She throws it. I fire. It explodes. Mm -hmm. No structural damage. Only damage to the creature. That's how I see it going down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seeing, uh, looking around, still having plenty of air in my lungs, I turn around and see Jester starting to panic, and I know that she has the key, so I will reach out, grab her face, and bring her into a kiss. <gasps> And I will blow all of my air into In her heart? lungs. Oh, oh shit. No. Why are you upside down right now? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shape so, of water. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She is no longer drowning, okay. but you have to make a con save at the end of your turn. Okay, fair enough. So that's your action to do that. that is so, so you breathe some of your air into there. 